We give people a half hour every day when they start work at FastCap to fix anything they want. And then any time during the day, no matter what, if there's a problem, they stop the line and they fix it. People want to do quality work. Dave said that. People come to work wanting to do quality, but we don't let them because as leaders, we've set them up to fail. So are you open to new ideas? You're going to hear a whole bunch of them. But the question is, why is building a lean culture so difficult? It seems like everybody's struggling to do this all the time. So the question is, why is it so difficult? It's so difficult, honestly, for one reason. Because you and me and most of the world is blind. You are totally blind and you think you can see. You are blind to the most important thing, waste. It's swirling around you like a tornado everywhere you go. But until you can see waste, nothing will change. This is what Tai Chi Ono discovered when he developed the Toyota production system. He understood there was all this waste, and that waste was robbing Toyota of the opportunity to succeed. They were broke. They didn't have any money. Everyone thinks Toyota's so great. They had more problems than you could ever imagine. But they pulled it all off because they taught their people to see waste. So my goal is for you to see waste like you've never seen it before. It should electrify you. It should just drive you crazy when you see it. So the question is, why do we improve? Why are we looking to find this waste? We're doing it because we want to improve quality. Everybody thinks it's all about saving time and all those things. See, everyone goes, how do you let your people stop and just fix things anytime they want? Because it, it, we're not racing against the clock like everybody else. We're focused on quality. When we produce a quality product, then we don't have to rework it. We don't have to deal with the returns. We don't have to deal with five customer service people dealing with all the complaints. So quality actually gives you more time. So the reason you improve is for quality. Very important. Billy said first safety and then quality, then simplicity. We want our processes to be easier. And then after that, then we want time. But first, quality is the big issue that we're always looking for in everything we do. So the way we've done this in terms of getting people to understand how to do this is simply saying, fix what bugs you. So it's very important that people say, well, I don't know where to start. Are you telling me that every process you do is perfect? It never happened. All day long, you're performing hundreds of different processes. If you really stop and think about that, that's what you're doing. And every one of those processes has a clunky aspect to it, a part that you struggle with and is difficult. And all we tell our people to do is simply stop and fix what bugs you. And then, if you want to take it to a whole nother level, you pull out your iPhone, and you show what bugs you, and then you show the solution. You show a before and an after. And we talked about this word, Yokotan. Yokotan is the transmission of information. There is no powerful way to do this than to actually show videos of how you're doing it. And then you show it to your entire organization, and then everybody's inspired by that. And this is what we've done. We allow people to stop the line, to pick up the bolt and to ask why, and then shoot a quick video to improve the quality of their work. Did you notice what I just said? They're improving the quality of their work, not just the quality of their product. So we're focused very much on the worker. How does the worker do great work? You know, Toyota had a great concept that I learned being in Japan so much. They said, you know, you're giving us the most valuable part of a human's life. The ages between 20 and 50 are the most productive years in a human being's life. You're giving that to us. We feel this deep sense of obligation to make sure those are valuable time, that that time is not wasted, because these are the most important times in our life. And this is a powerful concept. So 
very much Toyota's approaching this from a philosophical standpoint. We always talk about the tools, but really it's more about the philosophy. So that's what we do every day at FastCap. We stop and we fix everything. You walk into our facility, it looks brand new. It's three years old, it looks brand new. There's not a nick, there's not a scratch, there's nothing anywhere. Because the minute something starts to denigrate, we stop and we fix it, right? And what this does is it reveals defects. It, re it reveals abnormalities. It reveals potential problems that are coming up. So our place is spotless. It's like the cleanest factory you've ever been in your entire life. You could eat off the floor. It's so clean, we don't have offices. That our offices are on the floor. That our engineering department is in the CNC department. And the engineers are standing up and there's no office. If anything ever got into the air, we would say, why? Capture it at the source. We fix everything. So my book, Two Seconds, is basically the story of my mistakes. Because for the first five years, I was a disaster at Lean. I sat and pointed at my email and said, do Lean, do Lean, do Lean, do Lean, do Lean. And then I went back to Japan after five years, and I said, what am I doing wrong? And I had a magical experience. I went to a company called Hawks, and I went to Toyota Lexus. And I asked the president, the vice president of Lexus, what is the most important thing for Toyota? And he said, all sign. It is not the next marketing program. It is not the next factory we're going to open up in Canada, the United States, Africa, or Europe, or Southeast Asia. It is not the next sales program. It is not the next technical implementation of hybrids that we're going to do. It is none of that. It is just one thing. And this is what Toyota is obsessed with. Teaching and training its people and building a culture of continuous improvement. I go, gosh, that's what I'm doing wrong. I don't teach and train my people at all. That was the problem. I tell them to do it, but I don't train them to do it. So I came back and I started having a morning meeting. It was only five minutes long. We started opening a book called Good to Great. That was the first book we read. And we just started nurturing the minds of our people, starting getting them to think at a different level. And the next thing you know, we were sharing our improvement. And the next thing you know, we were walking all over the facility, showing each other what we were doing. And the next thing you know, we were making videos because it took too long to walk everybody, 50 people through the factory to show everything. And the next thing you know, the world was watching us because I decided to teach and train my people. Now that morning meeting, and I never recommend people doing this, Every day is 45 minutes long. It's crazy. We teach the US Constitution. We have a word of the day. We have a quote of the day. We watch lean videos. It's incredible. It's the university, ASCAP University. Where do we learn it from? Toyota. Teaching and training our people and building a culture. Now, people say, how do you spend that much time before anybody, every, anybody even picks up a hammer at our place an hour and a half has gone by because we're 3Sing in the morning. The first thing we do from 7 to 7.30 is 3S. Why do we 3S? Anybody know why you 3S? Anyone know why? It exposes waste to find problems. You don't 3S to clean your facility. Uh-uh. You 3S to find problems, to find waste. That's why we 3S. And so we 3S, and then our people find problems, they make improvements, then we have a morning meeting for 45 minutes, and then we work. Now people, how could you do that? It cost me $2,000 a day to do that with my team. $2,000 a day. And we've been doing that for 12, 13 years now. Long time. People say, how do you do that? It's very simple. My people get done in six hours what your people get done in 40 hours. It's one plus one equals two. And I'm good at math, especially when it's simple. That's how we do it. The key is to have smart people. Toyota has a big plaque in all their factories. You know what it says? One banner, and I love it. It's my favorite banner. I think about it all day long. Good thinking, good products. Is your thinking good? It's not that complicated. People love to make this complicated. And I love to make it simple. We say to our team, what's our goal? 
banishing sloppiness and falling in love with precision. Because it is this love of being precise that is so important. This is a life-changing quote if you ever get a hold of this. We don't come to work to work. We come to work to improve our work. So when we walk through the door, every person I hire and everybody at our company knows we are not there to make woodworking tools and equipment for the world. We are there to improve the way. That requires you totally engage your brain and have really well-trained people. And that is the secret. But most people come to work to work. I don't. I come to work, what can I improve? And my life keeps getting better and better and better and better. And my people's lives keep getting better. Listen to this. Our sales keep going up. No sales department. Our cost keeps going down. Our profit keeps going up. And our wages keep going up. Two price increases in 20 years. We don't come to work to work. We come to work to improve the way we work the real meaning behind lean, to improve the quality of people's lives. You will experience success in this that you've never dreamt possible. But until you understand the deep meaning behind what Sakichi Toyota started, nothing will ever change for you. And you will always struggle. It's about people. It's as simple as every person, everything, every day. Thank you very much.